Okay, so a little bit of context. You guys probably remember my 1993 Chibusa doll. You remember how I got her, I cleaned her up, I sewed a brand new outfit for her. I've got to redo the bow, it looks like. But I even sewed shoes for her. And this was like the start of my collecting Japanese Chibiusa dolls. If you follow my Codename Sailor Earth Facebook page, then you know I got a second doll. I couldn't get her original Odongo, so I took some rose gold beads because they kind of, well, you can't see it in the light, but they kind of match the color, there you go, that's better, of her hair. So I could leave her hair long like I love. She's got one of her original earrings. She has most of her original outfit except for the bow and one original shoe. Well, I got one more 1993 Chibiosa doll. Um, the paint was a little messed up on this one at the door. So, like, once I got her cleaned up, I realized that she came with two sets of Odongo instead of one, so I had to make Koosagi. This is her original outfit. I did repaint the eyes. I know I didn't do the best job, but I'm still getting used to it. I'm a beginner. But I had to make her eyes blue. I put her hair up in little twists because her hair in the manga kind of goes everywhere and it's like really curly. So I put her hair in twists. I cleaned her outfit as best I could. It's a little stained, but what do you want? It's from 1993. And then these shoes came with that doll over there. They were not original to the outfit that she came with, but they were just the right size. So I repurposed them for Koosagi. Now let's take a look at the next one I did. So for context, this is my Irwin Sailor Mini Moon doll or Sailor Chibi Moon if we want to be accurate. Always loved her little tiny heart there. Um, once every couple of years I have to restrain her Odongo because the little plastic ties kind of disintegrate. But she's doing all right outside of that. Here's a little messy because she's been fighting evil by moonlight just like her mommy. So I got an extra of her on um, Mercari, and I figured I would make a custom Koosagi doll with her. So, ta-da! The Etsy shop where I got these bunny charms, I will put a link in the description for them. I just gave them a slight repaint, and... They were good to go after that. I think I did a better job painting the eyes on this one. Couldn't really touch up the earrings too much, but it's white pink, so it matches her hair, so I think it's all right. A lot of people, when they do fan art of Koosagi, they either do her in a pink outfit or in a light blue outfit, like Chibi Chibi. And I usually split the diff and I always do her in, like, a light purple outfit because it's between pink and blue. So it's, like, a little bit of Chibi Chibi, a little bit of Chibi Moon, just right down the middle. I loved how rainbowy and shiny this fabric is. So I thought it would be just perfect for this, and it was so easy to work with. As for the gems, I was going to do... um. You know, the little line that we see in the manga, I was going to do, like, the the guard for it the proper way, but I started to run out of felt, and I didn't really like the first version of it, so I just did it in gems. I kind of got inspired watching a, pic a little clip on uh, Facebook from an old Sierra Mew play, so that's why I did it in gems instead of doing the proper guard like in the manga. But all the other bunny heads, I did myself. And I was really happy with how this turned out. I love that her hair is short, because like when we first see her in the manga, she's got that short curly hair. 
So I thought this was pretty well, you know, in alignment with that. So I put her with her big sister there. And now we're going to see the next one I did. So you can really tell I love working with this fabric. So this was the Twinkle Star Pretty Cure doll that I got from eBay. And looking at the faces for the uh, more recent Pretty Cure dolls, they're similar to how the faces look in Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3. So that's why I chose her, because I thought if I'm going to do Koosagi, this would be a good one to customize. So I basically made the same outfit as before. Her hair came out beautiful and curly and long. And where Koosagi's got these long curls when she transforms in the manga, I thought that was absolutely perfect. She was very easy to work with. I had no trouble at all with repainting. And she's kind of smaller. So, like, she's a little bit taller than a 93 Chibiusa doll. So, like, she's more in alignment with, like, the later Chibiusa dolls. So, I thought that was a good size for her, too. I'm really happy with this. This kind of inspires me to, like, buy up other used Pretty Cure dolls and see what else I could do with them. Which reminds me, I've got one more to show. And just for reference, so here's the Pretty Cure doll next to the 94 Sailor Chibi Moon doll and the 95 Super Sailor Chibi Moon doll. And as you can see, they're not far away in height at all. Like if I put their stands together the way they're supposed to be, there we go. Like, you can see the Pretty Cure dolls are the same size as Super Sailor Chibi Moon. So it really works out having this Koosagi doll like this. So now she looks pretty well in alignment with what she should have been if, you know, they made Koosagi dolls. So now I really have a good idea of what might have been. But I've got one more custom. Okay, so you guys have already seen Irwin's take on Princess Serenity, Neo Queen Serenity, or Princess Serena, depending on what box you got. You guys saw my Keenan sold in Canada and America as Prince Darian. And you saw how I took this uh, Princess Serena over here, and I made her a brand new outfit. And then you guys saw that I had a headless Chibiusa, or rather just the head of Chibiusa. So I got a doll body from AliExpress and gave it to her. And I made this outfit for her. And I made her a necklace. And I made her all grown up. So, of course where I am, like, obsessed with everything sparkly, you know I had to do this, too. I took another Pretty Cure doll. This time it came from AliExpress. And I used some Barbie sandals I got in a pack from Walmart. And I sewed another Princess Serenity dress. But this time... It's for Koosagi. The hair on this one was like super, super easy to work with and silky. So it took nothing for me to curl it at the ends. I really just used my fingers. And like her hair came out extra shiny. So I put it up in her odongle. And I painted a little moon on her. I repainted the eyes, and I made her a little necklace, just like her older sister. So now I have Princess Koosagi. And now, 
The royal family feels complete. This is definitely a growing family. And I actually feel really good that I brought Koosagi into this little series of dolls. I've got some other ideas for customs coming up, so make sure you subscribe because I think the next one might surprise you.